What's going on guys? Trey here and I'm back with another video. As you guys know, Q4 is just around the corner and for those who are actually into dropshipping and want to sell products, this is the best time to be selling. Why? Because of all the holiday seasons there is in Q4. And I'm talking about Halloween, Christmas, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and much more. All these holidays have crazy deals that go on during those months, so you can go ahead and take advantage to increase the amount of orders for your particular store, so you can go ahead and go crazy for Q4. With the amount of orders you're gonna receive in Q4, it is very important to make sure you're tracking your data correctly and making sure it's transferred over from your Shopify store to your Facebook Ads Manager effectively. Now we know Facebook has given some troubles lately with tracking the ads, essentially your ad sets, ads, purchases, ad of carts, initiate checkouts. Along with including UTMs, this platform I'm gonna show you guys today, which is called Commonly, will help you track your data efficiently, which is a data tracking tool to connect to your Facebook Ads Manager. If that sounds like you're something you're trying to do by going crazy in Q4, getting a lot of orders, you're not trying to have any headaches or frustration because you cannot see exactly which ad set got you the best purchase, add a cart, initiate checkouts. Make sure to watch the rest of this video as I will show you how to set up commonly, which is gonna help you exactly track your data. Before we hop into it, you guys know we do a free consulting call every single week. And if you want to get the chance to win this, you have to do these three things down below. Number one, go ahead and like this video as we put out these videos every single week to give you guys as much as value as we can. Number two, subscribe to the channel to catch every single video that we put out every single week. And number three, and comment the word Q4 with the biggest take away that you have gotten away from this video. I'll be announcing the winner of the free consultant call somewhere in this video. So make sure you're staying tuned and watch the rest of the video if you wanna find out that was you, so you go ahead and go crazy in Q4. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into exactly what Commonly will do for you and the setup process of Commonly, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in just a bit. Commonly will allow your ad sets to be tracked efficiently, making sure you have the correct purchase and which ad set, the correct add a cart, the correct initiate checkout from your Shopify store analytics to your Facebook ads manager. This tool is gonna to help you effectively scale absolutely crazy in Q4, so you guys are knowing exactly where your purchases are coming from, so you go ahead and get that profit you're looking for. But before we get into commonly any further, make sure if you have any questions at all about this video or how about you can get started successfully on your e-commerce journey that you DM us the word YouTube on Instagram at supreme underscore ecom so that we can go ahead and reach out to you and help you any way as possible. So now I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you guys the setup process of commonly from start to finish. Now, as you can go ahead and see right here, this is commonly, this is the website right here, right? And right off the bat, as you can go in and see, it has a 14 free day trial. You heard that correctly. It has a 14 free day trial. So that means you can go in and connect it to your store whenever you're ready to go ahead and start running campaigns. So you actually go ahead and get a startup. And then when you're getting that return on investment, then you can go ahead and actually put back that investment you are getting from profit and to back the pain for company. As you go in and see right here, it says track your sales back to the correct ad and optimize your ads for a better performance. As we scroll down right here, it has Facebook, Instagram, Shopify, and ClickBank. All those platforms, you can go to connect to this particular commonly platform. As we scroll down right here, it also gives us a visual representation of exactly what the Facebook Ads Manager will look like with commonly linked to it. So right here, some of the features and tools that it has is you can control your budget. And what I mean by control your budget, you can actually go ahead and change your budget at the ad set level or at the campaign total level. As you see right here, it says update your budget. So then you are allowed to go and update your budget when you're actually scaling to increase that to get a higher profit for your particular ads manager. It also has a turn off button. And what that means, you can go ahead and actually turn off your particular ad sets or as well the whole entire campaign, whatever campaign you are running right here by just a click of the button with on or off. You can also customize your comms. Whatever the way you need to have best fit for your particular column setup process, 
commonly allows you to go and actually set up efficiently so you do not have to keep looking everywhere for whatever ads that you are looking for. Not only that, commonly allows you to have a breakdown. And what I mean by breakdown, you can actually break down each asset that you have in your ads manager to see exactly where your purchases are coming from. For example, you might be getting a lot of purchases from the country of United States. So when you start scaling, you want to target your ads that's more towards United States because that's been giving you the best ROI and a profit for your particular ads manager. And commonly will allow you to go ahead and actually break it down by gender, age, and actually country that you're receiving the most orders from. As you can go ahead and see right here, it says an accurate ads manager. Experience what it feels like to have all your data tracked. Like I said before, as you know, Facebook has been giving us some troubles in regards to data tracking, but now here is the full solution for you to go ahead and make sure you're actually getting your data tracked the correct way and not having any troubles and any headaches as well. Commonly also allows you to go ahead and actually connect multiple stores to their particular platform at additional no cost. So that's actually very helpful because if you have more than one store, you can connect it to the same exact commonly account that you have created from the big jump. As you can go and see right here, it says it will give you an accurate revenue conversion value. Not only will it allow you to actually track the efficient of your purchases at a cart initiate checkouts, but it will also go ahead and give you exactly how much profit or actually how much net loss you have per ad set per campaign as well. As you go and see right here, the green means profit. And if you scroll up real quick, the red right here means net loss. And it exactly tells you exactly the percentage of your ROI, the net loss, gross refunds, and gross revenue as well. So it gives you exactly a huge breakdown of exactly what you need for your analytics. Another thing that commonly allows, it has an ad set daily breakdown. Yes, we can break down from exactly where the purchase come from, gender, ages, region, but it also gives us exactly a daily breakdown. So for example, you're getting most purchases on Monday every single week. You need to start scaling on Mondays because by commonly, it will show you you're getting exactly the most purchases on Mondays. It gives you also your ROI, your ROADS, profit and net loss, just right here. And you can also go ahead and send back accurate data back to the platforms to make sure you are actually getting the correct efficient tracking. It also allows you to control your budget for it. So it has a spend analysis feature on there. So if you're gonna be like kind of overspending a little bit, comment will let you know exactly, hey, this is your budget you have set. You're starting to overspend. Make sure you're paying attention to what you are spending. It also has aggregate reporting. So monitor campaign budgets across many platforms and many ad account as you want. So let's go ahead, let's start a free trial real quick so I can go and show you guys a little bit of the setup process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start free trial right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little information real quick. So now that we put a little information, this is gonna go ahead and ask us a little, you know, about us as well. For company name, you can go ahead and put your store name in this particular box for the company name. Phone number, you can go ahead and include your phone number, you do not have to. I'm gonna choose my role, which is gonna be other. Team size, this is gonna be you, unless you have more than one. How would you be here about this? You can just go ahead and just say maybe word of mouth and continue. So now that we're actually at this process, we wanna go and actually set up a Shopify store link to this particular comedy platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Shopify. Now mind you, you cannot change the time zone, so make sure you are putting in the correct time zone that you are located at. Make sure you go ahead and include exactly your particular currency as well for your country. Also as well, it does give you a 14 free day trial, but right here it says build monthly or build annually. So right here you can go and kind of see exactly the prices of commonly. But don't worry, we do have an affiliate link that we can go to provide you guys and Supreme Ecom, giving you guys a little discount as well. So it's gonna go and ask you a little car details, but you can go ahead and put a little car details real quick, and then it's gonna go ahead and start the free trial. So now the next step for us to do is to connect our Shopify store to commonly. So right here, let's go ahead and copy the URL from your website real quick. Right here, I'm gonna copy the URL, go back to Commonly, enter the store URL, and hit connect. So right now, it's asking us to go ahead and actually install the app of Commonly into the Shopify store that we just have integrated. So now let's go ahead and hit install app. So right now, it's gonna be a few simple setups that we have to go ahead and take. So right here, it's gonna go ahead and say, complete the task, connect the integrations, Let's go ahead and add integrations, which means you're gonna go ahead and connect the Facebook account that you have tied to your Shopify store already. So let's go ahead and hit connect. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with the same Facebook that is connected, making sure you're hitting manage ads for ad accounts and having access to your Facebook ads and related stats. Go ahead and hit connect. 
download and now right here it says you have now linked commonly to Facebook so right now we have it actually connected so we're good to go on that end so let's go ahead and go look at commonly right now we're on the home dashboard of commonly but let's go ahead and look into some of the features that it presents to us right here so let's click on dashboard so right here right off the bat it will tell you exactly how much you have spent on your ads it will tell you your gross revenue your net profit your row ads and purchases and this is for any campaign you're running or any store that you have integrated into commonly as well not only that you can actually filter these out by amount spent by gross revenue by net profit as well you can go to ex exclude and you can include as well also you can change the date range so for example if you wanted to see a date range of last year of how much you actually have gross revenue net profit net loss you can actually go ahead and do that with this month last month today and whatever other date you want to select for your particular reason so right here you can set a daily budget for your ads campaigns and right here commonly let you know if you have went over the budget under the budget or whatever the case may be for you to know your financials as we scroll right here it also gives you a daily breakdown of your profit and net loss so it will give you exactly below today yesterday whatever the case may be it'll give you exactly how much you have done for the day how much you have lost whatever ad campaign did the best for you as well to let you know exactly you should be scaling this particular ad set or this particular ad as well pretty self-explanatory gives you a lot of information a lot of data which is definitely great the next session is right here is called ads manager now right here we do have to connect an ad account to this commonly platform from our facebook ads manager so let's go ahead and do that right here we're going to go ahead and actually have facebook you also see right here they're having TikTok coming soon. So that's definitely a multi-purpose platform commonly to do Facebook and TikTok ad accounts as well. But as you see right here, I had three ad accounts connected to this Facebook store, but I want to go ahead and make sure I'm connecting the correct one that is connected to my Shopify store. And for this one, it's going to be ad account one. So right here, it actually has a space of saying this is for me, trade space for my Shopify store that I have created and for this particular campaign. As we scroll down, you want to go ahead and see conversions, API, data sharing. Go ahead and turn it on. You have managed sales integration. Always make sure this is connected as well. If it does not connect, go ahead and include your Shopify store URL and resync and it will actually be connected then. And now you have the connected ad accounts right here. So now it has the Facebook, the ad account, the business manager, all connected to commonly of the same Facebook ads manager in your own personal Facebook. Now let's go to the next section of reporting. It also gives you like a daily breakdown of exactly, like I said before, how much you're spending, how much you're actually getting gross revenue, net profit, row ads, and all the good things you need to know, like your cost per click, click the rate, cut purchases cost of purchase as well as we go right here to ad sets you see right here it actually gives you a breakdown for each ad set hey how many active ad sets do you have how many profitable ad sets do you have and also how many negative ad sets you have as well in your campaigns also it gives you an average ROI the return on investment of your particular ad sets right here and also gives you a visual representation of graphs of your ad sets and how they are performing on a day-to-day -day basis. We also have right here a spend analysis, right? So right now underneath this one ad account I have connected, it is telling me exactly how much I am spending, what lead budget, what awareness budgets, as the engagement budget, traffic budget, sales budget. There's a lot of different budgets that go into running ads. So this gives me exactly a breakdown to exactly which category I'm spending the most on, or which category I should be spending more into as well. So as we go right here to the section of tracking, you can see it says tracking setup. Right here, they have a little brief video showing you exactly how to set up your commonly tracking on your ads connecting the pixel right here just to make sure you're actually getting the full accurate data tracking from Facebook to Shopify and vice versa any help you are needing they have exactly a good started setup right here right so you also have UTMs which definitely is recommended when you start running any conversion campaigns any type of purchases coming into your store I recommend to have UTMs included and as well commonly pl platform to make sure you're having the full accurate data for your store especially going to q4 you can also too as well right here you can go ahead and add members into your particular platform if it's just not you you can add other members that can help you on your facebook ads manager with going through commonly 
you also have like kind of a you know settings right here you can change your team name your logo your space currency time zone as well you can also delete the space if you do not want the space anymore now remember you can also go ahead and include unlimited amount of stores into your common link platform no matter how many stores you have at no extra charge and there you have it right there guys that is the common link platform the conversions aip tracking for your data into shopify facebook ads manager vice versa so we're going to go ahead and go to q4 right guys i definitely recommend you have this ingrid integrated into your store because you don't want to have any headaches or frustrations of not knowing where your purchases are coming from not knowing when your added carts are coming from and not knowing when you initiate checkouts are coming from as well so this guys is a must recommended app when you are guys selling in the q4 season and there you have it guys before we wrap this up today i do want to go ahead and announce the free consultant winner of this video which is keisha randall that's correct keisha randall make sure you go ahead and reach out to us at underscore supreme ecom or at ac underscore hampton ig so we can go ahead and reach out to you to make sure you get your free call that you had just won today and give you that value to go ahead and make sure you're going crazy during the q4 season that will be the end of this video i hope you guys gain a lot of knowledge and value so we can go ahead and go crazy in q4 and that's it for today trey here i'm out they gonna want a piece when you got it like that like jigs